What's up guys? It's Simply Coco here and welcome to another Sims 4 video. Uh today I'm going to be introducing a well, I'm going to be introducing all the families that are going to be in my very first YouTube Let's Play. So, I haven't decided what I'm going to call it yet, but it is going to be based in Brindleton Bay. And it's going to be loosely based off of Deligracy's Let's Play, Hampton Falls. But mine's going to be obviously different. It's just really taking place in the same town. But when I say it's loosely based off hers, I'm taking the idea of going of instead of just playing one family and that let's play she had several families and she jumped around and played each family and kind of um what's the word um kind of intertwined their stories so i think i have all of the families that are going to be in it in their houses so i'm just going to jump right into it and start introducing them so i have the very first one, he's living in Wickerson Man's Raff, Rarf, I don't know how to say it, but this is his house. I built it, and I'll probably do a tour of it um, at another in another video. So this is Thomas Gaines, as you can see, and he's a really, really handsome sim. I love this hair that came with Get Together. Um, I recently got Get Together and I've just been loving the items. I believe this shirt is from Get Together as well. It is, um, the pants are laundry day. I probably put these pants on every single male sim that I create just because they're probably the best ones. Um, but yeah, that's Thomas. He is, well, his aspiration is to be a master, master chef. He loves the outdoors. He's a foodie, obviously, and he's very romantic. Um, I, he's going to actually own his own um, restaurant. At the beginning of the Let's Play, he's going. He's actually the uh, in the actual culinary career, and he's going to be, I think he's the head chef right now or the sous chef. I don't know which one, but I think he's the sous chef. And but So whenever he gets promoted to head chef, I'm going to build him his own restaurant, and he's going to open it. Um, I figured Thomas would be very... I'm just going to keep talking and go through his outfits. I thought, oh, look at him. I figured he would do his hair up, and he's so handsome. I figured Thomas would be... Since he's romantic, I feel like he would um, really be a hopeless romantic and really be looking for love, but can never find it. You know, he um, is very, like... He gets around a lot, but not because he wants to, only because he's trying to find the one. And ev I, I, I imagine every girl he ends up with ends up playing him some kind of way. But he doesn't let that keep him down. He's still, you know, he's all about the money. He's all about his cooking. He's all about, you know, opening his own restaurant. And yeah. Oh, I forgot to go through his um, other everyday outfits. So that's one because he loves the outdoors. I imagine he would fish a lot. Uh, this is another one. This is just more of a comfy outfit. No particular reason. Um, then chef outfit, uh, of course. And then just one more little comfier outfit with his hair up in like a little man bun. So cute. Uh, here's his formal wear. Love it. This man, yeah, get together. I love the items. Um, he only has one. This is his workout. Sleep. And party wear, which I really love. Again, this came from Get Together, this top. Pants or university shoes get famous? Yes. Swimwear? Yes, with the Speedo. Ugh. Hot weather outfit? These are like, I think they're like, yeah, they're swim trunks. I felt like he'd be the type of guy to wear swim trunks when it's hot outside instead of regular shorts. And then cold weather. Love the jacket. It's probably from Get Together. It is. The pants are base game. I put them on him because they're the best base game jeans that don't have holes. And then the boots are from Outdoor Retreat. So that's Thomas. And then he has a little dog. So cute. I, ooh, excuse me. It's a Boston Terrier. And his name is Baloo. So cute. 
kind of like Baloo from, uh, what is it? The Jungle Book. Baloo is loyal, friendly, and playful. So that's the Thomas Gaines family. So now I will introduce the next group of Sims. We have, I could have opened it from there, but I want to click on their actual houses. We have, I, I don't remember if they're a part of the Let's Play. I need to think about that for a second. Um, then we have the Charles family, or I th that's not their names, but <laughs> I got them off of the gallery and I um, re like did them, but it didn't save. So I'm not going to go through their um, outfits and stuff because it didn't save what I did. Um, but this is, that's not her name either. I had just changed it. Um, I think, I know their last name was Nelson. And her first name can be Casey. That's fine. So, and then his last name was Jeffrey. Or his first name was Jeffrey. Jeffrey Nelson. So, I imagine these two, having just both got out of university, they went there together and they're high school sweethearts and they're gonna live in the nature house that I actually posted a speed build to. They're gonna be really into nature. He's gonna be, I pretty much, I'm pretty sure he's gonna be in the handiness career. Um, I'll know for sure when I go check out another family because the husband in another family is going to be his coworker. So this is Jeffrey. I didn't change how they look. I just changed their outfits and their names. So everything else is the same in their, um, in their, what is this called? Aspirations. But everything else is the same. I just won't go through their outfits. So this is Jeffrey and this is his wife, Casey. That, so that's them. And on to the next one. So this Let's Play is going to be all about young adults. And I'm thinking of calling it something like the young adults of, of Bay Area or the Bay Area young adults or something about young adults and Bay Area. So I just did. I said Bay Area just because I didn't want to use Brindleton Bay in the title. I don't know. I was just trying to be different. But if you can think of a, a name, sh you know, shoot a comment and I will, you know, pick one. This is the next family. This is the Hale family. He's in his that. But we'll go. We'll start with the mom. I think. OK, this is Tiffany Hale. So Tiffany grew up on a farm and. I imagine this family used to live in San Myshuno, but since their son is getting ready to go to university, they, the mom had the idea, well, what if we move to a smaller town? And I found this really nice renovated barn online and it's for sale. And the dad's down for it, but the son is just like, nah, but I'll get to that later. I actually, this is the family that lives in the renovated barn house that I did the tour of. So this is the mom, Tiffany. She is an outdoor enthusiast. She loves the outdoors. She's family oriented and she's good. Um, I imagine her being, I don't know. I don't know what her job could be. Let me know what in the comments what you think she could do. So that's one of her outfits. This is another. Uh, so cute. Here's her third and her last. Oh, okay. I knew I had a job picked for her. So the reason why I gave her this like short bob cut and then this outfit, she's going to be a detective. Tiffany is going to be a detective or in the police career or whatever um, it's called. Then this is her formal wear. Very simple, athletic, sleep, party, swimwear hot weather, and cold weather. So that's Tiffany Hale. And then her husband, I actually got him off of the gallery. He aged up whenever I uh, was touring the renovated barn. So I, for the Let's Play, I will age him back down to a young adult. Um, 
they do have a teen, so I imagine they've been together for a while and um, were very even younger when they got um, when they had their son. So the dad is kind of more materialistic in a way. He wants to be fabulously wealthy. He's business savvy, so he'll be in the business career. He'll probably own his own business. And this is actually the dad that's going to be the co-worker of Jeffrey from the other household. But uh, I imagine Joey would be the boss. And Joey's very neat. He's self-assured and he's a genius. So let me go through his outfits. So that's one. That's another one. And that's another one. Here's his formal wear, his athletic wear, sleep, party, swimwear, hot weather, and cold weather. So that's Joey Hale. And then their son is Nathaniel or Nathan. I imagine he would go by Nathan. He's ridiculously handsome. Can we just talk about it? Uh, <laughs> He's got a little, like, stubble going. Anyway, so this is Nathaniel. He wants, to, he's a computer whiz, hot-headed, good, and a bro. He's going to be a gamer. As you saw in the Renovated Barn tour, he had the whole gaming setup. And I said this in that video, but Nathaniel is very, he's going to be very rebellious because he did not want to move, even though he is you know, close to going to uh, university. I would imagine he has about two more years left before he goes to university. So I would imagine he's like a sophomore in high school. And he's going to be very, very rebellious. And I imagine he's going to really kind of turn into a slut. And that's going to be his way of getting back at his parents and rebelling towards his parents. He's going to have girls over at all times of the night. And he may even get one pregnant. But I don't know. You'll have to watch and see. So, here's his, a few of his outfits. This is just a more comfy one. Show off his muscles and his chest. And then this is another, um, just like a little relaxed one. Really cute, simple. Here's his everyday, or, I mean, formal. I loved this on him. That's more of a dad look, but I feel like a teen wouldn't wear a full-on suit. Uh, especially not him. This is his workout. I really loved the little like compression underwear that they have in accessories now. And I thought it looked good under the shorts. Here's his sleepwear. Party. I thought this was really cute, actually. Um, swimwear. Hot weather. And cold weather. So very, very white boy chic. <laughs> And that's the Hale family. So, I think I have one more. That's been one, two, three, four. Yeah, I have one more. They're not at home for whatever reason, but that doesn't matter. This is, well, these girls are the sisters. And they're the their household name is called the sisters or sisters but their last name is rouse so this is mia mia rouse she is uh her aspiration is to be um is an academic aspiration and obviously from creative we can't put that they've been to college but she had i cheated like her aspiration needs and so it's kind of like she's been to college she is now a full-time teacher and yeah she's she's a teacher and she's a genius she's neat and she's squeamish so my goal with like everyone's um traits for this let's play was to make them to give them like two like traits that will help them with their uh, careers and then so like two good traits and then one like negative trait so her negative trait is the squeamish trait and then we have this is one of her everyday outfits very cozy very comfortable this is more like what she would go teach in this is another kind of just lazy around the house outfit and this is another um, 
outfit I imagine her going teaching in, going to teach in, and this one as well. Um, here's her formal wear. I know her hair instantly got longer, but I imagine she would get extensions anytime she would, you know, go out um, for any particular event. Here's her athletic wear. Her sleepwear, very cute and cozy. Party wear, again, extensions. This is probably the most skin you would ever see on her. I imagine her being very modest, very, you know, not, not so much out there. Her sister, though, is complete opposite. Here's her swimming wear, her uh, hot weather wear, and her cold weather outfit. So that's Mia. And then her sister is Zoe. So Zoe is, she wants to be a painter. She paints on the side. She's self-absorbed, outgoing, and very lazy. So I guess her good trait is outgoing. But, um... Yeah, so she's living in... She's living with her sister. She's living in Mia's house. She doesn't have a job. She literally just paints in her spare time. And at first, Mia's completely okay with this. But after a while, she, you know, is like, girl, you need to get a job. And things will get even worse once Mia finds a boyfriend and the boyfriend comes li- comes to live with her too. And Zoe's still there. That's going to be a sticky situation as well. But you have to wait to see what's going to happen there. So that's her uh, main everyday outfit. And then we have another one. It's really cute. I love this. So cute. And then that's her last one. Just kind of cozy. And then that's her formal. This is her workout. Active wear. Sleep wear party this also came from get together and i don't love it that much it just seems like the most like what's the best word i can use it's the most out there outfit that i feel like i could have put her in if you know what i mean by out there here's her swimwear hot weather i think that's so cute and then cold So that's Zoe. And then they have a dog. This is a Cardigan Welsh Corgi. Corgi. And his name is Cole. He's so adorable. He's loyal, smart, and playful. So that's the Rouse family. So I think that's everyone. That's four families. I was going to do the Brown family over here. But... um, I don't know. Let's look at them. Let's look at them. The only thing about this family is there are no young adults. There was. There was. It, they were uh, Corey's parents. But they passed away, sadly. And then that's why she had to go and live with her grandparents. But... Um, That might be kind of... Even though her parents were young adults, um, when they passed, maybe that's too much of a reach. But if you like the storyline of this family, maybe it can be the second Let's Play that I do. Uh, Let me know. But I don't think I'll add them to this Let's Play. So that's all the families for this Let's Play. We have the sisters, the Rouse sisters. We have Thomas Gaines. We have the Hale family. And we have the Nelson family. So let me know what you think of these uh, characters and let me know if you have any ideas about where the storyline should go, how these households uh, should connect to each other. And yeah, I'll be back um, within the next day or two with the very first part of this Let's Play. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.